okay so today we'll be starting uh, with our webinar and today's agenda is security right so what we'll be discussing that what is security i'll give you the introduction of security that what is security and what is information security what is cyber security and what is privacy what is the difference between all three then we'll discuss about the pillars of security and then how to protect your personal information and we'll also talk about online privacy and social media safety so this is the agenda for today so we all have seen that uh, a very layman example i will give whenever you go, go out uh, like whenever you are going somewhere so you lock your home right you put locks in there and then you uh, visit any other place yes so we don't want anyone else to go inside the home right we don't want anyone else to access to our things right we just want that only the people who are authorized that means only the family members can get inside the home right so that's why we put locks over there and that is security right so it is the protection from harm which can be caused by others right so that is security right now when we are talking about security in information technology in this uh, in nowadays world so these are the tools or things used to defend an organization's assets right so when we talk about like we uh, lots of organizations are there why they and they need security what is security there so all the tools and personals that we use to defend the organization assets that is security right so what is our goal our goal is to protect the assets the devices the services from being disrupted from being getting stolen or exploited by any unauthorized users or any attacker right now what happens uh you guys use amazon right now when you use amazon you order things from amazon and you give your card details right that uh, this is the card number and you pay from your card then in between there is a third party organization uh, like something like razor pay which gives you the otp one time password and then you enter that one time password and your order gets confirmed yes so at that time if the organization is not having any security that razor pay organization is not having any security so your card details will be leaked yes or no agree so for protecting your information for protecting their customers information they need security right so there are different types of security like uh, there is something which is known as physical security also right so what will be physical security when we talk about physical security so protection of people hardware software network information any data from physical actions right uh, like if we talk about the physical security we have uh, security guards right so why we have security guards
so that no one from outside intrude inside the organization right only the people who are working in the organization can go inside otherwise no one else can get inside right because it can damage the organization's assets let's say i got inside the organization and i got the information about the people the employees and everything right so that is also something we don't need right so lack of physical protection it can risk the destruction of servers the devices the utilities which will support business operations and the processes right so that's why we need security guards there so that is also what that is also security now when we are talking about the need of security so i can say that i am protecting the organization from cyber threats so i used a word which is with the name threat right but before threat you should know that there is a word with the name asset how will you define asset what is asset anything valuable yes so if you have a laptop right laptop has your all personal information your identity card your passport information right and uh, some important documents right all those things right and also uh, it's not uh, like laptop is only not for data but uh, it has like you have purchased it right so it has some monetary value as well right so that is an asset for you now we are protecting that asset from cyber threats so what is threat then threat means that anything which lowers the value of your asset so what i say uh, just a layman example right if i have a laptop my laptop is asset for me accidentally i spilled water on my laptop right so when i spilled water on my laptop what happened my laptop will stop functioning right and once my laptop stops functioning so the value of my asset is lowered now right so that is what water is threat for my laptop same like that there are attackers the like there are lots of data breaches happening there are identity theft happening so from that we can protect ourselves with the help of security right then i can what else is the reason privacy pre preservation right so we have to follow security measures we have to take security measures to make sure that personal information remains private and it is not misused or exploited right so if uh, my personal details are leaked somehow right and someone comes to you because uh, Uh, and someone calls you and says that hi i am ashish and uh, i have uh, this work can you do it for me so you will say that yes i'll do right so someone may do may impersonate as me right there may be identity theft as well right so that is what that is also one reason why we need security then uh, lots of uh, financial frauds are happening right so to protect from financial fraud
we need security right like we have banks right so what happens like sometimes uh, you hear the news that uh, someone is calling you and asking you that uh, your credit card or debit card has been blocked and for renewing it just give your card number your cvv your pin and done right you share the otp and your money is deducted so for that also we need some cyber awareness training right and also we need to be safe so the bank also has to get some security measures they have to follow some security measures right so that is what that is also one reason right then in terms of uh, the nation right so we need security for safeguarding national borders that is also security right so that no one does illegal immigration and uh, no smuggling and we can protect the national borders right so that is also one reason yes or no then there should be supply chain security we have to make sure about the supply chain security now what is supply chain let's say infosec train is the one organization and it is taking some services from other organization right so when it is taking in uh, some services from other organization so there is a supply chain this is called supply chain right so me at infosec train we are connected to some other organization let's say the organization is xyz organization right so if anything happens to xyz any attack happens to xyz organization then there are chances that infosec train will also be attacked right the confidential information between the xyz and infosec train may be leaked right so for protecting that also we need security then for building trust now this is the one of the main reason what happens <clears throat> whenever you visit some websites right so you don't create your account on some on every website you don't give your emails on every website why so because you don't trust that website right the third party websites right uh, let's say you are downloading youtube videos from a third party vendor right so there was an application i remember with the name vidmate right in the mobile phones there was an application so you won't create account on vidmint right even if it is asking you to create account you won't create it why because it does not look safe right and it is not safe so there was a study that uh, vidmate was like leaking the data of the people right you won't uh, log in to vidmate you won't create your account or give your uh, social media details on vidmate right so that is another reason for building trust we need security right great now when we are talking about security what if there is no security what will happen right so there will be vulnerability to attacks right so the individuals the businesses governments will be exposed to a higher risk of cyber attacks 
which will lead to data breaches identity theft financial losses right then crime rates will be increased yes so the absence of security measures it will create an environment which will be having criminal activities like theft assault or it will uh, lead to rise in crime rates right there will be lack of privacy right still there is lack of privacy what do you think is it now the thing is google knows everything about you even you are uh, just attending this webinar google knows about you that yes you are with, uh, just going for this webinar right you have joined it but if there is no security then everyone would know everything right our personal information will be easily accessible right uh, there will be no privacy rights right and the misuse of sensitive data will increase right so that is what that is lack of privacy then national defense will be weak yes so the absence of security measures it will render the nations more susceptible to external threats like terrorism invasion compromising the national uh, security and sovereignty yep what else can happen if there is no security so can i say that it will disrupt critical in infrastructure now what critical infrastructure is your network right your systems right your servers everything so the things that are run, that is running your organization that is making your organization services let's say you give cloud services so you have cloud servers present right so all those things will be disrupted right there will be disruption there will be chaos right someone may sabotage your servers also that is one more thing if there is no security then not only the organization but it will do what if the security is there no security is there so it will increase social inequality right it will affect the marginalized communities right then it will be uh widening the socio economic divide right so that is also one reason why we need security right great so when we are talking about security we have information security we have cyber security we have privacy right three things so what is cyber security information security and privacy 
so let's talk about cyber security first right because we have heard about cyber security a lot like wherever someone is there so they say we are in cyber security and there is cyber security so what that cyber security is so in cyber security we have two words cyber and security so what is the meaning of cyber we visit cyber cafes as well sometimes like back in the old days uh, i used to go to cyber cafes also for downloading some things right so cyber means digital all your devices that are performing the digital computation anything that is related to the internet it falls under the category of cyber so we should not get confused here right so cyber security should not be uh, cyber space should not be confused with the internet this term cyber space is representing the identities or the events that take place in the communication process itself right so let's say there is a website that website also exists in cyberspace right the social interactions whether you do a post upload a picture or uh, share a message all those social interactions exist in cyberspace and this cyberspace is expanding not in minutes but in seconds right all the events are taking place not on their physical locations but in cyberspace so like your mobile phone your mobile phone is now getting connected to your car as well right it is getting connected to your uh, music player systems right from there you can connect your cctv cameras your fridge washing machines everything right so that much big cyberspace is now right everything is connected right now when we are talking about cyber security the whole term so the security which is offered through online services to protect your online information great now cyber security these are the uh, like it is kind of it refers to all the technologies and the processes which are designed to protect computers networks and data from unauthorized access the vulnerabilities the attacks delivered via the internet by cyber criminals right so i used few words right like unauthorized access correct so unauthorized access means that i am authorized to go inside the office of infosec chain right i have the authorization for that right but you don't have that authorization if you try to get inside the security guard will stop you right or you will be uh, seen in the cctv cameras you don't have the access token so that you cannot go inside the organization right so unauthorized access means that wherever i am not allowed i am going now can you you go to atm right everyone goes to atm now in atm can you just withdraw money from my account no right you cannot because you are not authorized to do that 
that is the meaning of unauthorized access right so if even if you are uh, like working in, in the bank even then you are not able to access my account right so that is unauthorized access then we have vulnerabilities what do you mean by vulnerabilities so vulnerability means that any flaw or any weakness in the system or in the software or in the network right it can be anywhere right so whenever developers there are developers who develop softwares who develop websites right so when they are developing the softwares sometimes what happens like a small example the developer is writing the code right so when developer is writing the code they do they comment the code right they do uh, they do write comments in the code right whenever they are writing the comments so the comments are for their own right for understanding what we have what we have done right so at that time sometimes right in the comments they write credentials so what happens whenever the attacker is looking at the code sometimes they find out hard coded credentials also right the usernames and passwords right so that is a small example but it's a vulnerability it's a kind of vulnerability right so whenever these uh, the developers they are writing code so sometimes the code they it's not working as they have expected it to work so the source code that we are seeing like any website just right click on it and uh, right click on the page and view source code that is the source code but when it is working when it is transferring the data that process is not secure right so we have seen that uh, there is always https written https means it is secure s stands for secure in it right but if you use http right what happens everything is in plain text so if i am sending uh, let's say i am opening a page right i am opening facebook and assume that facebook is not https but it is http facebook.com right so what happens you enter your username you you enter your password there right so if it is http from your browser this is your device your device has a browser from your browser your credentials your username and password is going to the server right and when it is going to the server so if it is http so everything is going in plain text so if i capture this request in between let's say i am a hacker so i will capture this request in between so what will happen i will get to know your username and password so that's why what we use we use https so let's say i'm sending hello to you right if you remember yesterday we discussed about osi model right so in osi model we have the encryption happens at presentation layer right layer 6 so if encryption is happening it means i am changing the data into non readable format or we can say it gibberish right so it cannot be understood by anyone right so if i am writing uh let's say
anything like this are you able to understand what it has written what i was trying to write no right so this is what this is encrypted text clear perfect now what we have what is the need of cyber security we understood that what is cyber security but what is the need of cyber security so it helps us in securing the data from threats like data theft or data misuse right uh, it safeguards your system from viruses right so when we are talking about viruses viruses they make our system slow vital information resources under siege this is the full form of virus viruses these are small piece of code which will make your system slow right it will not let you use your resources right it will not let you use your uh, cpu right your cpu usage will be very high but you are not using it your virus is using it yep then uh what we have the next thing like many of the people or many of the uh, people every day they are getting connected to the internet so as the people are increasing security threats they can cause massive harm to those people right so that's why we need cyber security as well right so that is cyber security then we have information security now what is information security so information security is what it covers all the tools and the processes that organizations use to protect the information right so it can be policy settings as well so all the policy settings it comes under information security so policy settings will prevent unauthorized people from accessing businesses or personal information right and information security or infosec it is a growing field right so it covers lots of field from network to infrastructure security to testing auditing everything right so it is protecting the sensitive information from unauthorized activities right uh, the inspection of sensitive information or modification recording and any disruption or destruction right so the our goal is to make sure that the safety and the privacy of critical data like uh, customer account details financial data or any intellectual property now cyber security is a subset of information security so information security is the universal set of the security under information security there is cyber security right so cyber security just does what it works in cyber space 
right all the devices connected to the internet all the devices connected uh, which are communicating over the internet everything that is happening in the digital world if you are safeguarding that then it is cyber security right but if you are sitting uh, let's say you are sitting in your office right or you are uh, sitting in your school college right anywhere and at your desk there is some important paper important document right and someone else reads it so cyber security is, can do nothing there right At that time, you need information security. Now, if there is a document kept at your desk, right? So, information security says we have to create a policy for it, right? Now, policy says the policy is clean desk policy. Right? Clean desk policy means that whenever you are not available at your desk, so you should not keep any of the files or papers or anything important or non-important at your desk, right? Even if you are leaving your system, your system should be locked, right? It, you should not keep it unlocked, right? When you are not available, right? That is what information security says. So cyber security is protecting the data from the resources on the internet, right? And when we are talking about information security, we are protecting the information from unauthorized users, unauthorized access, data modification or removal to provide the security to our data, right? So from in cyber security, we are protecting the data in the cyberspace from cyber attacks right and information security talks about the protection of data from any kind of threat right then the attacks if we talk about the attacks so cyber security like works against the cyber crime cyber frauds and law enforcement right and information uh, security works against unauthorized access disclosure of uh, disclosure modification or any disruption as well right so if i am doing what uh, i'm deploying a security guard And what if I say it is cyber security? So when we are talking about the defense, right? Defense means that I don't want anyone to get inside the organization, send any malicious data, like anything to the organization. Let's say I'm sending a file to you. That file has a virus. So you have, if you are using Windows system, right so in windows system you have windows defender windows defender is connected to the internet right so it is what it is a kind of firewall right so that windows defender is what It's working in cybersecurity. It is deployed by the cybersecurity team. Right? So the first line of defense is cybersecurity. When your security is breached, then your information security comes into the play.
right so that is cyber security and information security whenever any hacker is attacking see uh, whenever you hear the things that uh, someone has attacked someone is hacked right i can attack your system i can hack your system if you are if we both are in the same network or there is a website which you visit right so i will hack the website get your data right now if someone is doing the attack if chinese you say is chinese hackers are doing the attack right so they will do the attack either by phishing they will send a phishing link right a malicious link where you will click right that's other way they are not in the same network scam calls correct right so all these are the things which come under cyber security again right so cyber security does what it works with the technologies like firewalls antivirus software intrusion detection systems so that no one can get inside if someone is trying to bypass them if someone is trying to bypass my firewall then it is cyber security right information security comes when the security is breached then what to do so whenever you hear the word hacker right hacker is a word from 1950s right so in 1950s there were very less people who were working with the computers right who knew how to work with the computers and they were like mathematicians who build a bakers and all so hacker is what it is a word given to a person who has who is having a sound knowledge of system administration the networking and the whole computer so anyone having a very good amount of knowledge in terms of systems in terms of networks in terms of the computer that person is known as hacker right the one who uses these skills to give get uh, information to get an uh, unauthorized access that person is known as attacker right who steals the information right so hacker is every person right who is working in the organization like there are pen testers like we are pen testers we are hackers right we do the pen testings for the organization right so hacker is not a bad word it the meaning of hacker is that you are having a very good amount of knowledge related to computers related to network right when you use that knowledge for getting the information the unauthorized access do doing uh, bad work so that then that person becomes attacker right who attacks the organization great perfect next we have is privacy what is privacy how privacy is different from cyber security and information security now privacy means what privacy means that the control you have over your personal information and how that information is used right personal information is what any information which can be used to find out your identity right and when we are talking about security security means 
how protected your personal information is. Now, let's say you opened a new account at your local bank. So, you have to give that bank your personal information. And that personal information will be on a, inside a file to open the account. Right? So, if you go on to use that account with no breaches of your data, you have maintained both the privacy and security. But if the bank sells your information to any uh, third party advertisers or then your privacy is compromised. Right? Even if that bank continues to keep your personal information secure from outside attackers, if data breach occurs and cyber attackers, they get your information. So both your cyber, uh, your security and privacy are compromised. Right? So very lame an example. You download applications from Google Play or iOS Store, right? Now you downloaded an application and that application is asking to access your contacts, your camera, your microphone. and also location right so what it is doing it is asking you that if you want to share it or not share these details or not you downloaded whatsapp you gave access you gave whatsapp your access to your camera your contacts your microphone your location everything right so privacy is that there are laws in the world that ask WhatsApp so that uh, like to key, you have to keep your customers data to you only. Right. So how much control you have you can anytime you can revoke the permissions that you have given to whatsapp you can remove uh, revoke the permissions given to whatsapp for contacts or camera or microphone and whatsapp won't be able to access your microphone your camera just go to settings of your application and revoke the permissions right that's what you can do right so that is privacy right so the difference between Date, let's say there is some data so data privacy and data security comes down to who and what is your data being protected from right security can be defined as protecting data from malicious threats privacy is more about using data responsibly right you get advertisements right you get lots of advertisements right so how you are getting those advertisements your data is given to someone right now another example for security and privacy so let's say you are in, in your home right so for security what you have done you have latches in your door you have uh, locks in your door that is security yes You have locks on your door so you can lock your door and stay inside that is security so that no one comes inside right now you also want ventilation for ventilation you your house has windows right now from window you have you can see inside right anyone can people can see inside right so for that you have curtains so curtains are maintaining your privacy right so that is the difference between security and privacy right so privacy it is harder to define because 
we have personal personally identifiable information included in that gray hat right black hat hackers are the attackers right these are the people who will attack the organization for their own good for monetary gain for getting the information so that they can sell that information on uh, dark web right so those are black hat hackers white hat hackers these are the people who do ethical work ethical hackers you can also call them and these are the people who are working as pen testers so if they find out any vulnerability in your system they will report it to the senior staff right so that it can be patched gray hat hackers these are white hat hackers who are working as white hat hackers but if they find out any opportunity right so they will take advantage of that opportunity like they are combination of black hat and white hat so they will find out vulnerability so what happens whenever you want to find out any vulnerability so you want to ask right you will ask the organization that if i can find out vulnerability in your organization or not if i can start testing or not right gray hat hackers they will not ask that if i can start testing or not so that is a behavior of black hat hackers they also don't ask that if we can start hacking or not but once they find out something they will report it to the senior staff right and they will expect a reward in return those are gray hat hackers some characteristics of black hat some characteristics of white hat perfect so that is information security cyber security privacy some hacker types right great now let's move ahead let's talk about the pillars of security great now we have pillars of security right now there are three main pillars of security on which our security is relying upon right that is confidentiality integrity and availability right this is what this is what we maintain right information security tries to maintain integrity availability and confidentiality right if this is not maintained there is a huge risk to your organization great so confident confidentiality means that you have your data but that data is it for only the people who are authorized right making sure that your data is not read by or looked by any unauthorized person right so keeping informations and communications private protected from unauthorized access right now if i ask that i want to maintain a uh, confidentiality in my organization so how can i do that I can use encryption. Right? So this is me. This is my friend, right? I am sending a message so anyone in between can intercept my com conversation and get the data so what i will do i will encrypt the data so that even if someone gets the data does not understands it right 
that is what that is maintaining the confidentiality now apart from encryption as you said username and password so username and password will be something which is a kind of access control for it is used for authentication that if you are able to use this place or not right so authentication will not be used when the data is getting transferred during the transit there is no authentication right authentication is deployed in in the uh, devices only right so during the transit of the data it will the data will not be encrypted it will not ask for a username and password right so while the data is going from one, my device to other to my friend's device so authentication will not help here encryption will help right apart from encryption what else i can use great now apart from encryption inside the organization i can use access controls so in the data i can deploy access controls and i can say that who will be able to access this information so i can give permissions so let's say uh, my friend is user b right so i can give the permission that user b can read write the data but others cannot right so only user b will be able to read that data what is inside what is written right then i can also use steganography now what is steganography hiding the data behind images is known as steganography now if you remember or those uh, people those who are from india there was an attack in india uh 2611 the mumbai bomb blast attack remember that now at that time what happens uh that attack continued for couple of days right so those attackers they were talking on satellite phone using the hotel's wifi right and what was happening uh our army the indian army the people who are working into the cyber team they try to intercept their communication so they planted a fake uh, there were two peoples who set up fake wifi and they were able to sniff the traffic internet the uh, intercept the traffic right so what they found that they were uh, talking over emails they were sending emails to every everyone right to each other so that they were communicating and in emails they were sending the pictures of bollywood actresses to each other so they were using steganography behind those images there was data right so that is confidentiality being maintained right then we have integrity what is integrity now when we are talking about integrity i want my data to be accurate so if let's say i am sending the same example i am taking that i am sending a hello to my friend right it is encrypted right but someone will be able to change this data now there is an attacker sitting in between now that attacker is not able to uh, understand the data but attacker change the data from hello to hi and send it to my friend right so that is integrity not being maintained so i want 
my information accurate free from errors and free from unauthorized modification right now whenever you like you if you have downloaded windows sometime right the windows operating system right so with windows there is hash written right there is a hash written right md5 hash is there right message digest 5 so it is a type of hash so that hash is written what it tells it tells that it has maintained the windows operating system has maintained the integrity right there was no alteration with the windows files right so for maintaining integrity we use hashing now hashing is what hashing is a concept in which uh, we convert the data through an algorithm right so our data undergoes an algorithm and it gets converted to a number which is known as hash right the hash is irreversible right so once hash is created you cannot get the plain text back from hash right great now what hashing does hashing tells if the data is accurate or not right how it tells i am sending some data with the data i am sending the hash of the data right so i am sending hello i calculated the hash of hello and i added that hash as well so when this hash when this data went to the receiver receiver calculated the hash of the data right and the hash that i have sent so if both of these hashes are matching that means the data is accurate otherwise the data is not accurate okay so the data or any other resource like i need a server i need access to server or anything it should be available for authorized users so people who are working in the organization and they have uh, the authorization so they should be able to access it that is availability so there is an attack you might have heard dos dos stands for denial of service right so this is an attack on availability so what we do i am sending big packets of data right so let's say you have uh, let's say 8 gbs of ram in your system right so i am sending some data to you which will be processed right and it will be processed by your RAM. So let's say I sent a file. Right? That file is an executable file and it will need a space of 12 GBs. Right? So I sent that file to you. Will your system be working if you execute this file? No, you don't have 12 GBs of RAM. So it will start getting executed and it will start eating up the RAM and it will eat the whole RAM. So your RAM will be will not be available for other processes. Your system will close. Right? That is what? That is denial of service. So same like that, whenever we have websites, right? Attackers do what? they send lot and lot of data right we are sending big packets so that all the resources of the server are busy in processing those big packets and they don't have time for processing any legit packet right 
that is denial of service right and it affects the availability so if i am uh, like there is some attacker and i'm uh, using some server attacker sends lots and lots of packets to that server so what will happen if i am the employee of the organization and i ask that i want to access that server server will say unavailable right you might have seen many of the websites they show you the error unavailable so why is that that is due to the dos attack sometimes right now for maintaining availability what we do we can take backups of the systems right that if someone attacks the system someone attacks my server so at that time what will happen i can just use the backups right disaster recovery is also there so the whole disaster recovery site is created right so that is the thing about confidentiality integrity and availability now these three were the pillars of security but not for too long because we were the uh, the digitalization was evolving all the things were evolving technology was evolving so at that time you were getting lots of different types of attacks lot of different types of vulnerabilities so we added two more pillars to security and that is non repudiation and authentication okay so let's say there is a thief who stole something from a shop right so that thief stole something but the thief said that i haven't stole in stole anything i didn't stole in anything right so that is what that is repudiation denying of something that you did right you sent an email to someone and you are denying that no i haven't sent any email that is repudiation non repudiation make sure that the data there should be something with the data that shows who created that data so the data should stay should adhere or should stick to the person who created it right so whenever you are sending some data you are sending some email your identity is with that data right again uh when you click pictures from your mobile phone right so if you check the details about that picture that picture shows the location the device name which clicked it and also it shows where you clicked it right and when you clicked it yes so every picture has its metadata right and that metadata makes that picture attached to some place where it was created and when it was created right so if you send me a picture and said uh, that someone else clicked it so i will check the metadata and i will find out who clicked it is it you or someone else right but these three things were not enough so whenever i am sending any email to you my email server is available so the so i can send email my data is confidential 
right so any I, on, only the person whom i am sending the data will be able to read that data and no one in between can make that data change right or no one can uh, modify that data in between but what if someone like even i am sending the mail and i say that i have not sent this mail so that is also one of the problem that we have to face right so for maintaining that we have non repetition right and non repetition is maintained using digital signatures right what are digital signatures uh back in the old days whenever we had to apply for a leave we used to write application on paper so paper value was more right now after some time what happened encryption was introduced so when encryption was introduced everything was safe so you have your digital signatures your you have digitally signed the message that you are sending your identity you are sending with the message right so digital signature is what it is a kind of identity of you right so whenever your mail is sent any email you are sending right that email is having your identity your keys are there private key so every one of you every one of us we have our private keys and it is private to us only right so it's unique key and if you are sending some uh, data right if you are sending any email so your private key is attached with it so that it can be found is it you who sent the email or is it someone else right that's how it is found clear now if i show you right there is one emailer right so you can send email from here right let's say i said ara123@gmail.com and from ara123@gmail.com i want to send it to someone else let's say ajish123@gmail.com right so this mail will be sent to me right making sure the person is same who he or she is claiming to be if i am claiming that i am ashish how will you know that i am ashish i am not impersonating as someone else how will you get to know that this link is for the fake emailer right you can check and see that whenever you are sending email from someone else's email id to your email id it will be filtered by gmail right then we have authentication that if i am the same person who i am claiming to be that is authentication now authentication is maintained by using digital certificate every website has a digital certificate every website 
right because your digital certificate is checked right whenever you open any website this i open uh, our website so if i go here or information view certificate so this is the digital certificate right and the company which gave the digital certificate it is godaddy right there are others as well like there is global there is digisert there is cloudflare there is google right so lots of certification providers are there so this certificate is the proof that your website is authentic right it is not a a website a malicious website right this is the proof of that so whenever you visit any website your browser asks that if this website is malicious is if this website is having any certificate or not then it will check the certificate and then allow you to visit the website if there is no certificate then what will happen your browser will give you an warning that potential security risk ahead great now the next thing that we have is the security teams that are there in your organization so we have three teams right red team blue team and purple team right what are who are red teamers red teamers are the people who are working into the offensive side of the security offensive side means these are the people who are working as pen testers they will test the organization they will re create a report on that they will submit the report to the higher professionals so that the vulnerability can be patched right so these are the attacking personalities right who are attacking the organization for the good before the attacker find out any vulnerability red team will find out the vulnerability and the vulnerability will be patched right then we have blue team right blue team blue teamers are the people who are working into the defensive side of the security right yep so what they do they deploy firewalls they deploy antiviruses they are work they are looking at the logs every time they are monitoring the network 24/7 so that if any malicious activity happens they can detect it so these are the people who defend the organization from any external attack right now how will you define purple team then great so we have heard a lot that purple team is a combination of both red team and blue team right so if your organization is having purple team that means there is no need of red team and blue team right they can do both work that's not the case purple team we call why we are calling the combination yes it is a combination of a combination of red team and, and blue team right but when there is a, an exercise going on right so there are uh, some simulation exercises and red team and blue team exercises they are going on in the organization so when these exercises are going on in the organization so what happens the red team and blue team they come together they sit together for the briefing right for debriefs that what we did and what happened what was the impact and then blue team will tell that that's how we detected the attack so at that time they both combine and we call it purple team
right? Yes. See, whenever you are uh, learning some, like you are learning red team side, right? So you should know how blue team is working, how they are detecting so that you can bypass. See, <clears throat> what happens? Uh, there is red team, right? Let's say there are four people in red team, right? And four people in blue team, right? So red teamers, they are attacking. They are trying to find out the vulnerabilities and blue teamers, they are trying to detect, right? So that's how the exercise goes on. Right? So the exercise goes on like the attack, the red team will do the attack, the blue team will try to defend the attack. Right? Now after that, when the exercise is done, everything is done. So blue team and red team, like four blue teamers and four red teamers, they will come together and they will communicate everything with each other. That what they have done. At that time, combinedly, they will be called purple team. So there are policies like uh, AUP, acceptable use policies, right? That what you can use, what uh, tools you can use, then bring your own device kind of policies. Then there are policies for uh, the data that what data you can use. Then access control policies are there, what things you can use, what things you cannot use. So even red teamers they are not allowed to use everything in the organization they don't have access to everything right so that's how an organization works <clears throat> 